Hello, Internet. Welcome to my PHP form mail script tutorial. If you watched my previous HTML definitive tutorial, I used a PHP form to process all of the information that was sent from that HTML page. I had a lot of people send me emails asking me what that code looks like and to describe it. So here we go. If you didn't see that, click right here and watch the HTML tutorial. Okay, basically how you create a PHP file looks, it opens up and is similar to an actual HTML file in that you open it, start it with the HTML tag that you see right here. And basically the way I have this laid out, here is all the code in black and white. And in the blue boxes, I have descriptions of what that means. Then I go have the tags for my header descriptions within the PHP file. Body telling the browser that content is coming. And then here's the beginning of the PHP code. You would start off with a PHP tag. This tells the browser that it should expect PHP code to uh, follow this tag until this tag ends. What we have here is just a comment section. It's good practice to always comment heavily you, all of your code that you write in PHP. What I do here is I explain each part of the PHP program that will follow. It begins with this forward slash and star and the comment section will end with a star and a forward slash. This is all comment. Nobody will see this except you. Down here, what I'm doing is checking to see if the form was submitted. Now, how I do that, if you go back to the actual HTML code, down here, if you remember, and you saw that, I have this code in the HTML file itself. Here I defined a variable named submitted, and I gave it the value true. Now, if we jump back into the PHP, all I'm doing here is saying, is that variable submitted equal to the value true? That's all it is saying. If this is this variable is set, then start working on this code and continue to work through this code until you see an ending tag that is the, it's facing in the opposite direction of this or is facing this direction. That is all that's being said here. And this dollar sign underscore post bracket and with the little colon here what this this is accessing the variable that was sent from the HTML code what we're doing here is we're creating what's called an array or you can just consider it a box in which information is stored and the name of the array is errors and you begin all of your variables with a dollar sign in PHP and this is another way to add comments. If you have two forward slashes, the browser will ignore all the code that comes after it until a new line is signaled. So that's what that means. Now what I'm doing here, these three lines of code, check to see if both the email variable subject and message variables have a value. Again, it's all it's checking. If they do not have a value, it is supposed to post an error message into the array that you just created up here. And it does that for the email variable, the subject, and the message. And that's what that code there does. What this is doing here is checking to see if there were any errors entered into the error array up here. It's checking to see if that error array is empty. That's it. If it is empty, meaning there were no errors entered, all the code between this bracket and this bracket should be evaluated by the browser. What we're doing here is we're taking everything, all the variables that were passed from the HTML code, and we're assigning them to variables of like names. And again, variables begin with a dollar sign. That's all we're doing, taking that information sent from the HTML, assigning it to the variable. What we're doing here is using a function known as echo to print into the browser all of the text that lies between these quotes. And the semicolon ends the statement. So we're printing all that information out. Now if we jumped over into your HTML file that we keep referring to, 
and we type in all the required information and then we clicked on send you can see everything was processed and an email was sent so that's basically what was going on there that's what this echo is doing printing out this information right here in the browser window okay down here what we're doing is we're taking this string or text information and we are combining it with the variables and we're combining them with this period function. After we combine all of these strings and variables together, we are going to assign them to the variable message. And that is all that's being done here. You can see in this line of code, what we're gonna do is, remember again, here's another comment, and this function mail is going to send a message to whatever email address was assigned to this variable with the subject being whatever was assigned to the subject variable and the message body of the email sent is going to be whatever was assigned to the message body, uh, variable. And here we're just printing out message sent, thank you, so that the user knows that the email message was sent. Now moving on, another comment and here we are echo printing into the browser window a link. This link will provide the visitor to your website the ability to click on it and jump back to the previous page. Up here I'm checking to make sure that su submitted is equal to true. Well, if the submitted variable was not equal to true, it would have jumped down here. That would have meant that an error occurred. So what we're going to do is print out some text. And as you can see here with the echo function, as long as you have this quote here and this quote here, it will print all of this in the browser window, even though you have a new line within your code. So it prints everything until it sees a new quote. Then what we're doing here is we are going with the for each function, going to sort through all of the errors within the error array. And if we find an error, we're gonna assign it to the variable message and then echo out onto the browser screen the error that was found. And then we would use a new line right here. And this would also create a new line. It's all this code's doing. We're creating the ability to create a link so the person can jump back to the previous page with echo again. And then here is another comment. And then finally, you're gonna close your PHP code off with this ending tag, and then close off the body section with your body tag and your HTML closing tag. And that is basically all there is. If you go to my webpage, you'll be able to copy all of this code minus all of my comments and use it on your own website. Till next time.